Hey, what's up, Zach here, and today I've got the all-new Fila Speed Serve Energized. Here we go. And thanks to Tennis Point USA for sending me a pair of these. If you want to check them out, I do have links in the description below. You know, the uppers of the Speed Serve Energized, remember they are a slipper tongue hover, they're almost like a better contouring Yonex Fusion Rev 4. The tie down isn't super tight, however, because it is a slipper tongue, the tie down does get around your ankle well enough, and there is room for a runner's knot in there. So the heel slippage that I thought I was going to get in these really never happened. Plus, they are encased in TPU, so for sliders or draggers, they are pretty darn durable, comparable to something like the A6 Cord FF2. Like I said, just don't expect the really super secure lockdown of the A6 Cord FF2, but enough to prevent that really obvious heel slippage. And if you look at these on the upper durability test, the Dremel 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper, yes, I am playing with compromised boots right now. Uh, not even a millimeter of damage on that TPU casing, kind of like an outsole durability test, because these are just so rugged. Now remember, they do have breathing channels all the way through them, so if you do catch them in the wrong angle, or if maybe the core it's a little bit grittier. You could maybe catch one of those breathing channels. However, because that TPU is pretty thick, it's unlikely. Now getting into the midsole teardown, honestly, the speed serve is still not the most plush thing in the world. It does have that mixture of EVA and rubberized particles in the forefoot and the rear foot. So it does feel pretty stout underfoot, much more stout than the Axelus Energized or the Axelus 2 Energized. And you get that really broad TPU shank in the midfoot of the shoe. It does give a little bit more of a stout, stiff feeling to the midsole, which I do like. It's not as pillow is the Axelus Energizer Axelus 2. If you look at it on the jump height test, 38 centimeters, which honestly isn't the greatest jump height I've been getting recently. However, for a shoe this low to the ground and this kind of real tactile and balanced and kind of flat to the court, it's really not that bad considering the profile of the shoe. But if you look at the outsole tread of the Speed Serve, pretty decent all court herringbone pattern. You can use these on clay, they're not going to grip the best, but if it's well maintained, you can get a little bit of grit in there. However, you have to make sure, remember, this is flat herringbone in some spots. So if you lay your foot down on a hard court and expect to stop like a screech, it's not gonna happen. They're meant to slide a little bit. If you just look at the shuttle test, it came in like 14.87 seconds. And these are actually pretty fast shoes, except the second turn, I took here on the near side, I expected just to stop and the thing just kind of slid out from underneath of me because these shoes want to be slid on. Once I kind of understood that, I got better with it and it really wasn't a bad test. However, kind of artificially increased my time on these just because, like I said, they want to be slid in. But you know, now that I say that about the shuttle test, after about a half hour, 45 minutes of warming on court, the rubber has gotten a lot tackier. I actually have gotten a little bit of a better grip. So I would say you can still slide in these pretty easily, but once the rubber does warm, it actually does start to grip a little bit better, a little bit more of a kind of hard stop type feel. And if you look at that tread on the outsole durability test, the Dremel 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper. Yeah, I got a little bit of a pothole in these, I guess. Uh, not even a millimeter of damage on that Dremel test. So this is a pretty super hard rubber compound. The durometer is really nothing to sneeze at. So, you know, if you're looking for a little bit more of a minimalist shoe with still a lot of durability packed into it, these are a pretty good pickup. Now the fit of the speed serve is a little bit of nuance there. If you are a narrow medium foot, I would go down a half size to get that one-to-one -one fit to lock yourself in this slipper tongue type shoe. If you're a two E foot, you can just go true to size. You really want that one-to-one. -one. They are pretty expandable. So a little bit of break in, you should be okay. If you are over a two E, I think you can probably go up one half size. I just would wear probably a thicker sock to give yourself a little more lockdown in that rear foot. And I will leave links in the description below to some things to augment these shoes. Maybe make them a little more accommodating for different types of feet. And speaking of augmenting these, like I said in the beginning, these aren't the most plush shoes on the planet. So if you are somebody with ball of foot pain or heel pain, I honestly don't think these are a great call unless you have a rubberized heel cup in there or a very, very low profile orthotic. Remember, because they are a slipper tongue, a little bit lower, orthotic is gonna pump you up in that shoe a little bit. So I'd say if you are someone that's snake bitten like me, these might not be the best thing in the world. Now in terms of playability of the speed serves, you probably kind of guess where I'm going with this. They are a super low to the ground, balanced feeling shoe. They allow a lot of degrees of freedom within the shoe. So if you're someone that just kind of likes to hit shots off of odd angles or find yourself in really kind of weird positions hitting the ball, these do allow for a lot of creativity with your footwork. They are pretty light on foot and they are super balanced. So you can kind of think of these as kind of like an Ubersonic and Vapor, maybe just a little bit more durability on there. I did notice when I was serving in these, after about 30 minutes of consistent serving, I, I just noticed kind of my legs weren't feeling as fresh as versus if I was something. Adidas Soul Court Boost, the Diodora Blue Shield 5s, they're just a much more minimal shoe. You have to have the leg power and kind of the athleticism to use 
use these to their full potential. But like I said, if you are looking for something for a lot of balance and you just kind of want to be able to prowl that court pretty low to the ground, then these are a super good pickup. But of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the speed serve. If you're looking for a shoe kind of like this in this more minimalist category, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see some of the other brand new releases of 2022 in the tennis category, make sure you click in this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next one.